In this interview series from the CQF Institute, we ask leading quants to reflect on their careers, the skills needed for quantitative finance, and to offer their views on the latest industry developments. What are the most important skills to possess for a career in finance? When I think about skill building for a career in finance, you know, you can think about this in phases. What happens when you first come out of school or advanced education? And then what happens as you approach, you know, the first third uh, of your career as you sort of build skills and learn new things and start to get promoted and hopefully through the middle stages as you pivot into more senior roles or become sort of a, the go-to person in your field, what those skills might be, right? But there are some foundational skills I like to highlight um, across these different phases. One definitely is the quantitative and logical reasoning. Um, that is really the foundation of being able to work effectively with numbers and figures and vast quantities of information that we're coming across today. Um, and this is, it should be obvious for those who are already in the field, but for those looking to say transition, I would highly urge you to take up a science-based course, um, you know, in mathematics or some sort of engineering type of uh, uh, training. Now, the second that comes to mind is really being attentive to details because um, there's a lot of criticality in information. So accuracy is a very important metric when it comes down to being, um, you know, promotable versus someone who might not because of, you know, your lack of attention to detail otherwise. So, and attention to detail also helps you spot things where others might overlook. So I would highly encourage people to think about uh, their level of attentiveness uh, there. Now, I would also think in terms of how you behave is, you know, a skill set that can be trained uh, as well for a career in finance. One is your rationalization and thinking skills, how you process information in a logical fashion, how you break down pieces of data or a narrative into, let's just say, you know, you're dealing with certain workflows in trading or other types of, you know, functions within a finance career. But, you know, are there things that can be done better? Does it make sense? Can you think about it from a different angle? Um, I would say lastly is communication and presenting because that's what holds everything together. Um, the way you think really dictates how you communicate at the end of the day. And the more thinking you do will show up in your communication with others and how you listen and comprehend information from your world around you. So these are the important skills I would say to possess for a career in finance. If you could go back in time, what advice would you give yourself when you first started your career? There are many things I would say to myself um, if I could go back in time when I first started my career. But at the end, I think one of the most important, however, is to take chances, uh, to not be afraid to take risks, because it's through learning that we grow and it is growth that we gain experience and become wiser and know what we truly want. So. A lot of times we don't know when we start out what we're really about. There's a lot of self, you know, exploration into sense of who you are and what makes you happy, that, that types of things and, and what you're truly motivated by. So one of the things I would tell myself is don't stop learning, be curious, talk to people and really try different things. And it's okay to take risks, even though if something comes really out of the left field, you never know where it leads you. So that would be some of the advice I would give myself if I can go back in time. Why do you feel communication is so important in business? Communication, I would argue, is important in business and beyond business. I think throughout our lives, as we build relationships in our lifetime, you know, communication is sort of a foundation for a connection. And connection, I believe, is the foundation for success and other things and success you can define that in many ways but you know connection is the currency that allows you to configure yourself for success so and and why is communication important to build connection it's really about learning how to understand others and learning to show others how you would like to be understood
understood. Um, and to me, this is why communication is so crucial, especially in business.